If you want to know how will I lose this excess fat fast and how can I get the fit body, then this video is perfect for you. My name is Seem and I'm going to tell you exactly how long does it take for you to start burning your body fat. All of it. The first and most important question you have to ask yourself is can you actually access your body fat? The human body is an incredibly adaptive organism that tries to maintain its survival by storing all excess energy, whether into its bones, muscle tissue, body fat, stem cells, and other storage sites. When you look at how many people suffer from obesity or metabolic syndrome, then the problem is never lack of energy. From a purely thermodynamic calories in, calories out perspective, you shouldn't get hungry or feel tired up until you've really run out of your body fat stores which is virtually impossible. Even very lean people under 10% body fat have tens of thousands of calories in their adipose tissue. So the problem has to do with how that energy gets used or much rather not used. Starving. Therefore, if you want to burn fat faster, then you have to teach your body how to start burning fat as a fuel source. So when does it happen? How can you do it? How can you become a fat burner? Before you can start burning stored body fat, you need to deplete the liver's glycogen stores as to signal the requirement for burning more energy. Your liver controls most of the metabolic processes that determine your daily thermodynamics and energy expenditure. The liver glycogen mediates those pathways and it's almost like a signaling molecule or much rather a signaling repository. How fast you're gonna start burning body fat depends on your body's overall energy demands and how fast you're gonna burn through that liver glycogen. There are 100 to 150 grams of glycogen in the liver, which takes about 18 to 24 hours of fasting to be depleted. There are 300 to 500 grams of glycogen in the muscle cells. However, muscle cells have a different function than the liver. Liver glycogen regulates energy homeostasis and blood sugar, whereas muscle glycogen is used for energy production under high energetic demands such as sprinting, lifting weights, high intensity interval training, ultramarathon, etc. Liver glycogen depletion occurs just by mere virtue of staying awake, as it constantly transmits energy to the brain and other vital organs. Muscle glycogen gets tapped into only if you exceed 65% of your VO2 max, and therefore switch over from burning fat into burning glycogen. When the liver gets depleted of energy, it's gonna switch over from burning glucose into producing ketone bodies. Fatty acids that can be used as energy are called triglyceride molecules. Your adipose tissue is a deposit for stored triglyceride molecules. If you start burning body fat, you're releasing those triglycerides into the bloodstream and burning them off for energy. Ketone bodies are energy molecules that get created as a byproduct of fatty acid metabolism. With low glycogen stores, the liver ramps up its production of ketone bodies so they could provide an alternative fuel source to glucose in the brain. After keto adaptation, the brain can meet up to 70 to 80% of its energy demands with ketones. If you want to start burning body fat, then you naturally want to induce endogenous ketosis. For that to happen, your liver glycogen has to be depleted, you have to be at a caloric deficit, which can all happen either with caloric restriction or fasting. Stop eating my sesame cake. But how long does it take to deplete liver glycogen? When you eat something that fills up the liver, such as carbohydrates, fruit, starchy tubers, berries, vegetables, sugar, or what else, then it's gonna switch your body into burning that liver glycogen before you can start burning body fat. Like I said, it takes about 20 hours to deplete your liver glycogen fully, but there are also some other ways to speed up that process and accelerate your fat loss. Exercise on an empty stomach makes you burn through liver glycogen faster, which is gonna allow you to access body fat faster as well. If you do fasted cardio in the morning, you can start burning body fat within 12 hours of not eating. Liver glycogen depletion can be replicated by eating a low-carb diet by virtue of not putting carbs back into your fuel tank. This is gonna help you to switch your liver into fat burning mode faster, but to actually start losing body fat, you would still have to induce a caloric deficit over the 24 hours. Depleting your liver glycogen functions like a metabolic switch that promotes the production of ketones, activates autophagy, increases glucagon which is gonna deplete your liver glycogen even further and primes your body to burn fat for fuel. First we render fat. But liver glycogen isn't the whole story because you can still gain weight on keto and you can still hit the fat loss plateau. Your body starts to break down body fat 
when it needs to cover some energetic demands. So what I say is that the fastest way to start burning body fat is to deplete your liver glycogen by doing fasted cardio and then eating low carb afterwards continuously. With this kind of a routine you're gonna tap into your body fat faster because there's less glycogen to be around. If you refill your liver glycogen with carbohydrates then you would have to burn through that liver glycogen again before you can get back into ketosis. Of course, you can lose body fat on a non-ketogenic diet with high amounts of carbohydrates as long as you consume fewer calories. Because although you're consuming carbohydrates, you will still deplete your body from those carbohydrates because during the 24 hours, you'll be at a caloric deficit. But in my opinion, ketosis is still a much more natural and much more effective way of priming your body to actually burn body fat. Ketosis is the best way to burn stored body fat because when you're in a caloric deficit, you will be literally compensating for that energy balance by converting the triglycerides in your adipose tissue into energy. Ketone bodies are also very muscle sparing and anti-inflammatory, which makes them the perfect alternative fuel source for the brain and lean tissue when you are consuming fewer calories and you're more prone to muscle catabolism. That's why whenever you are dieting, you want to get into ketosis as fast as possible to preserve your lean tissue. I need a horse! Click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay fat adapted, stay empowered.